green hydrogen is the way to get to net zero and that Australia would be a key player in the resource. Despite billions of dollars of investment, Labor's green hydrogen and energy plans are surprise, surprise, off the rails yet again. Something massive is happening in Australia and hardly anyone is paying attention. A new kind of hydrogen generator, quiet, portable and emission free to operate, has already begun disrupting the energy sector from the inside. Whispers of its capabilities have reached Elon Musk himself, whose companies stand to lose or gain everything depending on how he responds. Imagine driving 1,000 miles on a single charge, then pulling into a regular charging station, plugging in, and just four minutes later, you've got 200 miles back in your battery. No bulky megawatt chargers. No hour-long waits. Sounds like science fiction, right? It's not. At the center of this breakthrough is 24M Technologies, a quiet but formidable American battery innovator. Their semi-solid battery platform paired with a mysterious new electrolyte called Eternalite is poised to flip the EV world upside down. And to stir the pot even further, Elon Musk may have just leaked exactly what Tesla plans to do with it. So, what makes this battery so powerful so fast and so different from anything we've seen before? Let's pull back the curtain and break it all down. At the heart of this new battery revolution is a single word that sounds straight out of a sci-fi novel, Eternalite. It might sound more like an 80s bottled water brand than cutting-edge tech, but this next-gen electrolyte, developed by 24M Technologies, could be the final puzzle piece electric vehicles have been waiting for. Every battery needs an electrolyte to shuttle ions between electrodes, but traditional ones always have trade-offs. They might be safe, fast charging or energy dense, but rarely all three. Eternalite changes that. What 24M figured out is how to massively increase ionic conductivity, how fast the ions move, by nearly three times compared to conventional liquid electrolytes. To put that in perspective, it's like going from old, leaky plumbing in an apartment to a high-pressure fire hose. Energy flows faster, smoother, and more efficiently. That's the foundation behind the performance numbers you're about to hear. Now, combine Eternalite with 24M's semi-solid battery platform and something incredible happens. You get four times faster charging, without overheating the battery or needing futuristic mega chargers. That means you can add nearly 200 miles of range in under four minutes using existing public 400 volt or 800 volt chargers. No need for special stations, no waiting an hour. Just plug in, stretch your legs, and your EV is ready to go again before you even finish your snack. But there's another game changer, cold weather. Every EV driver knows the frustration of winter driving, reduced range, sluggish battery response, and painful charging delays. Eternalite is different. In lab tests, it retained 80% of its capacity at minus 40 degrees Celsius. That's the kind of temperature where eyelashes freeze and most batteries throw in the towel. Eternalite keeps performing like it's a sunny afternoon. And perhaps most impressively, it fits into the existing battery ecosystem. You don't have to rebuild factories or throw out current designs. Eternalite works with lithium metal, silicon, and even traditional graphite battery chemistries. That's like upgrading your phone's software and suddenly getting double the speed. No hardware changes needed. The CEO of 24M, Naoki Ota, put it simply. This isn't a small improvement. It's a platform shift. He's talking about batteries that can hit 1600 kilometers, around 1000 miles, on a single charge, with long cycle life that keeps the battery performing well for years. That's fewer replacements, less range anxiety, and more freedom for EV drivers. But here's the kicker. This isn't a lab experiment. Eternalite is already integrated into working prototypes. And now, rumors are flying that Elon Musk has seen it in action. Some insiders believe Tesla's next major innovation wave might quietly ride on the back of Eternalite. If that's true, it marks a major shift away from dependence on Chinese and German battery suppliers 
and back to American-made energy dominance. So how does Eternalite compare to Tesla's current best, the 4680 battery? The 4680 was meant to be the holy grail. It promised better range, cost savings, and performance. And for a while, it was top of the heap. But now? Things may have changed. Tesla's 4680 battery offers about 244 watt-hours per kilogram. Eternalite powered batteries? A jaw-dropping 6 and 60 watt-hours per kilogram. That's nearly three times the energy in the same size and weight. Let's make that real. Two same-sized batteries, one gets you from San Francisco to LA, the other, all the way to Seattle. No charge stop needed. That's the kind of leap this represents. And for drivers, it means you stop planning your trip around charging stations and just drive. Charging speed? Tesla's superchargers are fast, no doubt. But they typically take 20-30 minutes to add 200 miles. Eternalite can do it in under 4 minutes. That's faster than your coffee order at a drive through and it works with today's infrastructure, no megawatt chargers, no special stations, just plug it in, and watch the numbers fly. Even more incredible is how Eternalite performs in the cold. Where most lithium-ion batteries slow down and struggle, Eternalite keeps more than 80% of its charge at minus 40. That's frozen fluid weather. Yet the battery acts like it's in the middle of summer. Now zoom out. The battery race is heating up worldwide. Companies like CATL, LG, Panasonic and BYD are pushing energy densities between 200 and 300 watt-hours per kilogram. Even CATL's new condensed battery only hits around 500, but 24M's semi-solid tech is pushing 660. That's not incremental progress, it's a vertical leap. Here's the other secret weapon, modular design. 24M's battery can be built on existing 46 and 80 style production lines. Tesla wouldn't have to rebuild their gigafactories or tear down current systems. The tooling, layout, automation, all of it can stay the same. Just a new electrolyte chemistry swapped in. It's like swapping your laptop's CPU without touching the casing. And here come the whispers. Leaks and offhand remarks suggest Tesla knows about Eternalite. Maybe they've already tested it. Musk hasn't confirmed anything. But when a game-changing scalable American-made battery hits the scene, it's going to get attention. The only question now is, will Tesla license it, partner up, or quietly acquire it? Let's shift gears to production. It's one thing to invent something in a lab, it's another to scale it up. 24M is already doing that. Their 14,000 square foot facility in Cambridge, Massachusetts is ramping to 200 megawatt hours per year by the end of 2025. Enough for about 6,000 EVs. But that's just the beginning. In Japan, Kyocera, one of 24M's licensees, is expanding their own factory from 2,000 units to 400 megawatt hours per year by 2026. That's a $70 million bet that this tech is the real deal. The beauty of 24M's model is that they're not building everything from scratch. They're licensing their tech. Any battery factory, from the US to Europe to Asia, can plug Eternalite into existing lines without a total overhaul. It's fast, cheap, and low risk. And with most global battery production still concentrated in China, where Tesla currently gets around 40% of its supply, there's a geopolitical incentive to shift that balance. The US is responding, fast. Thanks to the Inflation Reduction Act and new funding, 10 new battery plants are coming online in 2025 alone, including from Panasonic, LG, Toyota, Ford, and more. That will push American battery capacity past 400 gigawatt hours per year, enough for 5 million EVs. When you see a Tesla, Ford Lightning, or Chevy Bolt on the road, there's a good chance its battery will soon come from one of these US plants. That undercuts China's dominance and secures energy independence for the future. But while chemistry is powerful, the real genius might be in the business model. Eternalite isn't just another battery, it's a licensing platform. 24M is franchising battery innovation. Think of it like Android for energy. 
companies worldwide are buying into the tech, not just to use it, but to manufacture it themselves. Kyocera was the first. But job postings in Korea and Germany, new electrolyte orders, and R&D mentions of semi-solid formats suggest others are quietly joining in. This is a stealth rollout, not a sudden revolution, but a quiet shift that may soon hit critical mass. This isn't about who builds the best battery from scratch, it's about who upgrades the fastest. 24M's Eternalite is flexible, fast to deploy, and surprisingly low-key. It doesn't require exotic materials or massive capital investments, it just works. And if Tesla, or any other big OEM, plugs it in, they could leapfrog their competition overnight. Eternalite could rewrite the EV playbook. Double the range. 4-minute charging, cold weather resilience, all on current infrastructure. The grip China holds on battery supply? Loosened. The performance gap between gas cars and EVs? Closed. So what happens when a small chemical tweak makes existing battery lines outperform future tech? That's the stealth revolution happening right now. And whether Tesla jumps first, or someone else does, the entire industry is about to shift, quietly, irreversibly, and very very soon.